Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today I am finally taking care of the rest of my peony roots that I didn't get planted out in the ground. I'm gonna be potting this up and then I'm going to be putting them in a cool place to overwinter, root over the winter hopefully, and then I can plant them out in the spring uh, when the ground is not frozen and temperatures are adequate. So the first thing I wanna do is show you the varieties that I'm gonna be potting up today. Then we're gonna pot these up and I'm gonna show you where these are gonna live all winter long to uh, hopefully root in and be planted out next spring because I'm really, really am trying to get an established peony patch going. Um, I have one right now of 22 plants. I have another one of about 15. These will get added to the second one. And then I should have about 40 peonies. Um, yeah, for more than that. I should have more than that. Um, and then that will be just some established perennials that I will be able to cut off of every single spring. So, um, the first ones that I have, and I think there's only two in this box. These I ordered from Jake in the group wholesale for the small scale grower. These are what these roots look like. Um, this one I can see a few eyes on. These I order as three to five eye. I like to order the three to five eye because they're just that much further along than the two to three. This one has about eight or 10 eyes on it. Um, now these roots, they've been kind of sitting in the pine chips for a while or cedar chips, whichever they are, and they're looking a little bit dry. So it's really gonna help them to get in soil. Um, the soil is already moist, but I am gonna water them in a bit. And then that's gonna really help these to winter over uh, and replenish their moisture. So um, I don't actually know if I have, you know what, I don't know what varieties these are because all the rest got planted in the ground. These are in their bags. These are from Little Farmhouse Flowers where I order all my 5C tulip bulbs from. I also ordered peonies from her. And so, looks like I have some coral charm to pot up. Alexander Fleming. And then this one, I think there's one in each of those bags. This is still all five. This is Shirley Temple. And these came in soil. Those came in wood chips. These do not look shriveled because I think the soil is retaining the moisture on those. So what I'm gonna do is, let me just hold this up for you guys. I have this bag of potting soil. I got it at my uh, local garden center. I have it thawed. It is nice room temperature and is not frozen anymore. I'm gonna use that potting soil. And depending on the size of the peony, I'm either going to use these pots or these pots. And I don't know if these are marked. Oh, this one is two and a half gallons, so this must be a one gallon pot. These are just going to winter over in here, so if they're crammed a little bit, I think it's gonna be okay. These are the biggest pots that I had. These will get planted out first thing in the spring, so all they have to do is cool at their temperature and then they'll, they'll uh, start growing again in the spring. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear these boxes out of the way, start filling up these pails or um, buckets with potting soil, and then we're just gonna nestle the peony roots down in there. I'm gonna plant them in the pots kind of like I plant them outside. So the eyes will be about one or two inches below the soil. The other thing I need to do is I wanna mark all of these. And so I have just some plant tags. So as I go, I'm gonna write the uh, name of the peony with this garden marker on the tag and mark them. These first two, because I don't know what they are, I'm just going to put question mark. And then I might put Jake on there because I know that they came from his sale and then I can reference back and look at all the varieties if I need to. I don't know that I actually even marked all of my peonies that I planted out in the ground. So maybe this isn't necessary. Um, the other ones I definitely know the variety of, so I'm definitely gonna mark those. And I am going to try to not make a huge mess here in the studio. I do have my shot back handy because I know I'm gonna need that after this. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these peony roots out. I'm gonna fill these with soil. Will these both fit in this box? Oh yeah. I'm gonna fill these with soil in this box and then that's how I'm gonna carry them. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier. It doesn't have to be pretty, 
but it is going to make it a little bit easier, I think. It also is going to catch the dirt that falls through the holes in these pots because they do have holes in the bottom, and then I'm not getting it all over my floor. This brand of soil, I have not used the potting soil before, um, but this particular brand, I buy their composted manure, and then I use that on the garden in the spring, um, usually our vegetable garden, and like I plant my seed potatoes in it, and I really, really like it. And so I thought I might as well try the potting soil because they had it on hand, and it was a really good price. Okay, so to start off, I have my pot about half full, and I'll fill the other one when I'm done. And these peony roots are kinda, you know what, let me just move this box out of the way. I may not be very prepared for this video. <laughs> these peony roots, oh my gosh, I don't think that's gonna be big enough. I might have to mound the soil up. You know what, let's start with an empty pot. I'm gonna kind of put it in here. Oh my gosh, that's not gonna work. Is this one gonna work? Oh, this one will work. So this one is sitting down in there really nice. I'm gonna dump all of this soil in that one. There we go. So right now the peony root is still exposed. I wanna add this in so that it is an inch or two under the soil. And I think this, oops, this is setting about, and it's setting right here on this rim. So I'm just gonna fill up the soil to the top on that one and that'll be good. So last winter, I tried to winter over peonies in crates. I thought it was a really great idea However, most of them ended up rotting because I didn't keep them at a temperature for rooting. I just kept them right out into the garden. And while they did get moisture, um, they all rotted. And so in the spring, I did have maybe three that were okay, but a majority of them just rotted when they unfroze. So that is why I'm trying it this way this year. Okay. So the pot is full, the peony is completely under the soil, and this is how I'm gonna leave it for the winter. Let me try to find a smaller peony root for this pot, and then we'll get that planted. All right, unfortunately, I think all of those peonies are bigger than these pots, so I'm gonna move to the bigger pot. I only have two of these, I think. I might have to put these in something else. I might have to search and get really creative. But in the meantime, let's get a couple more done. All right, this one fits in here beautifully. So the peony root is nice and in there really good. And you can see it's underneath of the soil about an inch and a half. That's gonna be perfect. So I'm just gonna fill this whole pot up with soil. Oh my gosh, I'm really gonna have to vacuum when I'm done. Okay, this peony is all nestled in there as well. And this is one of the question marks, so I'm gonna mark that. All right, I'm gonna search around and see what I have. Uh, I have got to have something that will work Maybe I can just plant all of these together in something. Let me do a little bit of looking. All right, you guys, here is my solution. And this is gonna be a total experiment. We're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna take this Rubbermaid container. You can see I use it for soil blocking last year. So that's just a little bit seed starting medium on the bottom. I am going to put a little potting soil on the bottom. I'm gonna lay all of those peony roots in here so they are not touching. I may have to get another container. And then I'm gonna try to winter them all over in here. All right, let's get started.
Okay, so I put three really big peony roots in here. The only downfall to this container, which I didn't think about, was that it doesn't have any drainage holes. But because these are just going to be rooting in here, and I'm probably only going to be giving them a little moisture once, I think they're going to be okay. So I need to mark this with a garden tag. These are Shirley Temple. All right, three Shirley Temple. And when I opened up that bag, there were two that were a lot shorter I can totally put in these gallon pots, which makes me really excited. Or, do I put them both in this one? I think I'm gonna do them separate. I'm making such a mess in here. This is why I am so excited to have the workspace over in the other building because I don't have to make my photography studio a disaster like this. I actually have a shoot in about an hour, so I gotta finish this up and then get rid of all the dirt. All right, let's move this somewhere. I'm gonna start on the pots. All right, now I'm gonna dump half of that in here because I wanna be able to nest the root down in here and still cover it. Hopefully from my microphone hasn't been flipping the wrong way. Okay, so here's the root. Again, I'm gonna nestle it down in the pot. Oh, that's gonna come right up to this lip. It's gonna be an inch below the soil. Perfect. Same with this one. Nestled right down there in the pot. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. That's gonna be perfect. Okay, so now I have probably two or three more peony roots in those bags. I know they're rather large. So I am going to search for another container, probably just like that plastic one to put those in, um, but that'll be the same process. What I wanna do now is I wanna show you guys where I'm going to put these to root in um, for the winter. Ideally, I would like to keep these uh, about 40 degrees. That is a good rooting temperature. Um, and then, they should just stay nice and cozy till I plant them in the spring. So let's head over to the neighboring building down in the basement. Okay, got everything loaded up in my utility wagon so I don't have to make a whole bunch of trips. And change of plans, I think instead of putting these down in the basement, I'm gonna put them in my garage. Okay, you guys, so the peonies are at my garage. I forgot to take a video when I was doing it, but I did snap some pictures with my cell phone. Here is where they are living. You can see the tote that has those three large peonies and then the box that has the individual pots. And again, this location also will be an experiment because I am just hoping that this stays warm enough that they don't completely freeze solid um, and rot in there once they thaw. It's warmer and a better solution than any other spot that I currently have. The next door building in the basement, I really don't think it's gonna hold temperature now that we are getting into highs that are going to be below zero. That building doesn't have a heat source or any insulation. So I really think that our really good insulated garage that we can easily Easily throw a heater in is going to be the solution but I will make sure to keep you guys updated once spring comes and I check on them and hopefully can plant them out so anyway I hope you found this little bit of a crazy video helpful I hope you guys are staying warm we're prepping for a blizzard tomorrow uh, so yeah we're right in the thick of winter uh, but anyway stay tuned for a lot more videos I'll see you soon